video is going to be all about creating the interior file for your photo book. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm continuing with the project of making a photo book. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I go through getting your images ready, mocking up your book, all these other steps that come before this. But if you're caught up, then feel free to check this video out and let's get started. So here I have my file folder with all of the images that I plan to include in my photo book. They've all been formatted so they're in grayscale, they're at the size that I need, they're at the, the DPI that I need, all of that stuff's been done. They're just ready to be assembled into a PDF file that can then be uploaded as the interior of the photo book. Originally, when I did this before, I used Google Docs to create my interior file. And the other day I decided to take another look, see how I did it, and for the life of me, I could not figure out how I even did the first document. But that's okay because I wasn't planning on using Google Docs this time. Since the last time that I made the interior of a book, I have switched to using Canva. It is so much easier. I just thought that Google Docs, if I could remember how I did it, I would just throw it in there as an alternative. But to be honest, I would avoid it. It just is way more complicated and I remember struggling to figure it out the first time. So just skip it all together unless you magically have some kind of knowledge about Google Docs that I can't recall at the moment. But today we're going to use Canva. So Canva is a website that you can do all sorts of things with. You can make Facebook posts, you can do flyers, you can do posters, any of that sort of stuff you can do on Canva. There is a paid version which has more options and selections for your project. We don't need that. The free version will be just fine for what we're doing today. So if you don't have an account with Canva, I suggest you create one, sign into your account, and then we can get started with making the interior. So I've decided that my book is 8.5 by 8.5. It is a square book. And as per the Lulu guides and templates, I need to add a certain amount to that file size for bleed, for margins, for trim, for all these things. I talk about that stuff in another video, so if you haven't caught up, I highly recommend you go back and watch those videos so that you know what I'm referring to when I talk about bleed and stuff. Um, so specifically, even though my book is an 8.5, I need to make my file size 8.75 to accommodate for all of those things that need to be accommodated for. I'm going to go up here and click create design and down here in the corner at the bottom left you can create a custom size so we're going to click on that and we're going to make sure that it's set to inches because that's what our book sizing is set to and we're going to write 8.75 by 8.75 create new design and now we have our perfectly square template and the size that we need now we need to get our images uploaded onto Canva. So to do that, we're going to go over all the way to the far left. There's a menu here. It's got apps, background, photos, projects, text, uploads. We want to click on uploads. At the top, we have search uploads or upload files. So we're going to upload files here. We're going to navigate to our folder of images and we're just going to click on all of our images. Um, so click on the first one, scroll down, hold the shift key down and click on your last one. And that will select the whole bunch and we'll hit open. Now this is going to take a minute to upload all of your images into Canva. So you might want to pull out your reference, your handy dandy mock-up and have this on hand so that when you create your interior, you're putting your images in, in the order that you intended not in the order that they upload in case for whatever reason it's not in the order that you wanted. So we have that ready while it uploads. The other thing that you're going to have to incorporate into your interior file is not just your images. The interior file also needs to have your title page as well as a copyright page. And you can include other things as well, like if you want to have a page to dedicate the book to somebody, if you want to have an acknowledgement page, 
or anything like that, that can also be created and then uploaded into Canva because it's going to be part of your final interior file. I only have a title page and a copyright page. I'm going to talk very quickly about the copyright page. Um, it does not need to be super complicated. If you go ahead and open up a book that you bought from the bookstore, you might see a full page with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, that's really not necessary for something like this. You basically just need to keep it simple. You need to have the copyright date, that the a disclaimer just basically saying that you copyrighted the images. I have a link that I will include below to a article that talks a little bit more about it and gives you simple templates. If you don't like those templates, um, since the last time that I created a book, chat GPT is a thing. So you can literally go into the AI chat. You can say, uh, write for me a disclaimer or a, a copyright page for my photo book titled blah 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 copyright to your name and the year and it will spit out a copyright page for you that you can use so don't sweat about that you can either use a template or you can use ai to just generate a copyright page for you with the information that you need it's not super hard um and we will be doing that as well within this video the title page, super easy. You just want to put your title on the interior and your subtitle and your author name. So that's also really easy. You don't need to sweat about that. And the great thing about Canva is that it's got all the fonts and the resizing options. And if you did want to have a little swirl or something in there, Canva has that stuff that you can do it in the website. You don't need to go into Photoshop, create that file and then upload it. We can do it in Canva. So we'll be doing that in Canva as well as adding the image files. So I actually tested out the chat G -G GPT. I don't know why I can't say that smoothly um, to see what kind of copyright page it would create. And I think I'm actually going to use this in this version of the photo book that I'm using. I'm just going to copy and paste from this. I'm going to double read it, make sure that it is everything that I want it to be. And I'll create the copy page right now while my photos finish uploading. So the first page is probably going to be your title page. So we're going to add a page and this will be the back of the first page. And I don't want the copyright page to be on the back of the title page. So we're going to leave this blank. I'm going to add another page and this is where the copyright page is going to be. So I'm going to select text. I'm going to copy paste that into there. Let's drag this up, see how it fits. It fits tight. We're gonna make this smaller. We wanna have a little bit of space around it. And there's some stuff in here that I'm not actually interested in having. Like, thank you for respecting the author's work. I'm gonna delete that. Um, for inquiries, please contact the author, insert contact details. I don't want that either. So I'm just reading it over. Copyright 2022, Vanessa Scott Nitsky, all rights reserved. No part of this photo book may be re reproduced, transmitted in any form or by any means electronic or mechanical, including photocopying, recording, or any information storage and retrieval system without permission. In writing from the author, this photo book is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead or events is purely coincidental. That's not really relevant to my book, so I'm going to just take that out. Author, cover design, all, pho all photographs within this photo book, self-published through lulu.com. We probably don't need that either. And I'm happy with that. So if I want, I can change the font. I don't want anything too crazy because it is... Um, just a copyright page. We don't want like fancy swirls or anything. People should be able to read it. So I'm going to go with this. I like that. And let's go back and see how our uploads are doing. Everything is uploaded. So what we can do is we can make our title page, which is going to go up at the top here after we do our photos. So this is really easy. We are going to add a page and this will be the back of the copyright page. So if you want your images to start immediately, you can put it there. 
or if you want the back of your copyright page to be blank, you can start again on the other side. I wanted, how did I want to have that? I think I wanted the copyright page to be blank, but I also wanted when the photo book to start, I wanted the two images together. I didn't want it to start on a single side. So I'm going to want to have a blank page for the back, a blank page for the other side, and then I'm going to start with my images. So I'm going to take a look at my mock-up. We're going to see which image I've got for my first image. And it is a staircase. So I'm going to scroll through here and find my staircase. And then I am going to drag this to size. And that's it. I'm doing full bleed, so it's going all the way to the edge. If you are not doing full bleed, you can use their guidelines here. They have a couple of different lines for margins and trim, and you can use those. I'm doing full bleed, so I'm taking it right to the edge. So basically from this point on, I'm just filling in images. So the next page is the one where I'm lying on the bed. So I'm going to add a page, click on this, and adjust it so it is just the perfect size. And I'm just going to keep going. So that is what we're doing now until I reach all of the images. When I have those done, then we'll go over making a title page. On each day, I feel like giving up. I pray you find a reason to hold on. Even one thing that can make you smile is a prayer. It's hard to leave your bed Know that we still love you just the same Every heavy weight you've carried here Is it Okay, now I have uploaded all of my images in order to the interior of my book. The last thing that I need to do for this is create the title page. So I'm going to go into the text box, add a heading, and write haunted. I'm going to write my subtitle. And now I'm going to make it look like how I want it to look. So let's change the font. Let's bring it up. Okay, I think that's how I want it. You can do whatever you want and you can add swirls if you want. There's elements in here. Um, if they have the little crown, that means that they're part of the pro membership. But if they don't, you can add whatever else. So let's say I want to have a little box in here and make this box black. I don't know if I love that, so I might change it, but that's okay because literally Canva will save your project as is and you can come and go as you as much as you want. It's not going to 
disappear on me. If I have it like this and I upload it and I'm doing the flip through and I'm just not loving it or say I even get to the point where I order a proof copy and there's something that I want to come and change, I can come back into Canva and edit what I need to edit. It won't be a problem. Also up here, it automatically will title your name, whatever the first thing you type is. And since I did the copyright page first, it's trying to use that as a title. So I'm just going to retitle this up here. So now let's say that I did love it. I think I will play with the title page a little bit more, but let's pretend that I love this. Now I can go over to the top right and click share. And if I come down here, I can hit download and I'm going to have some options. The suggested file type that it's going to want to give you is PNG. That's not what we want. When we upload this file, we're going to want to upload a PDF file. So we're going to click on here and we have two options for PDF, PDF standard and PDF print. Since we're going to print this book, I recommend hitting PDF print. I always flatten the PDF just in case. Uh, I don't want crop marks and all this stuff. So I'm just leaving those blank. That's it. We can hit download and it will create our PDF file for us. And now all we have to do is take this file and upload it into the Lulu website. And we're done. The interior anyways. <laughs> so the next video, we are going to create our cover and that's going to be super fun. Lulu has a cover template. It will create a template for your cover based on the size of your book and everything that you have already decided. So it's really easy to just open up that document and then customize it with your images and your fonts and your title and your author name and all that stuff. So it's pretty straightforward. It's very much just like this, putting in the pieces and then saving it as a PDF file for uploading into Lulu. So let's open up this file and see what it looks like. Here we have our PDF. And our full bleed images. So if I'm scrolling through and I notice like maybe one of the images, I didn't um, get it right to the edge or something. Like I said, we can go back into Canva and adjust anything that we need. So far, I'm not seeing any issues. It's looking good. All the images are the right size. Nothing stands out to me as being a problem. So that's great. We're done. We can save that, close all our things. And then all we have to worry about next is the cover. And then we upload our book. We can upload it, fill in our details and publish it. So two more videos left. It's going to be great. I hope you guys are keeping up and making your book along with me. I'd love to hear about your projects in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.